Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of cosecant of arctangent of x over 2 plus 2x squared dx. So we are evaluating integrals of trigonometric functions. So here are the formula that we can use to evaluate integrals of trigo functions. So I just need to memorize them when we are evaluating integrals of trigo functions. So for this problem, what I will do first is I can factor the 2 in the denominator. So I will have cosecant of arctangent of x over factoring out 2. I will have 2 times quantity 1 plus x squared dx. Then this over 2 in the denominator it can be written as 1 half times cosecant of arctangent of x over 1 plus x squared dx. So therefore, I can just put in front of the integral this constant of 1 half. I will have 1 half times the integral of cosecant of arctangent of x over 1 plus x squared dx. And now it's obvious that we can let u be equal to arctangent of x, getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u, it's du, derivative of arctangent of x, that will be 1 over 1 plus x squared dx, and therefore we have created this term, dx over 1 plus x squared on the original integral, which is now equal to du. So if we substitute on the original integral, we will have 1 half times the integral of cosecant arctan of x which is now equal to u and then this dx over 1 plus x squared is now equal to du so we have one half times the integral of cosecant to du looking at the formula it's equal to ln of cosecant u minus cotangent of u so one half times ln of cosecant of u minus cotangent of u plus c Let's just transform back the u in terms of arctangent of x. So the final answer will be 1 half ln of cosecant of u, which is arctangent of x minus cotangent of u, again, arctan of x plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. For number 2, we have the integral of 4x cubed cotangent of x to the fourth dx okay so we can apply u substitution first so let u be equal to x to the fourth getting the derivative of both sets derivative of u it's du derivative of x to the fourth that's 4 x cubed dx applying power rule for derivatives and therefore we have created this 4 x cubed dx term on the original integral which is now equal to du Substituting, we will have the integral of cotangent of x to the fourth, which is equal to u. And then this 4x cubed dx equal to du. So, looking at the formula, the integral of cotangent u du is equal to ln of sine u plus c. So, therefore, we will have ln of sine u plus c. And then... Transform back the u in terms of x, u is equal to x to the fourth. So therefore, the final answer will be ln of sine x to the fourth plus c. For number 3, we have the integral of dx over 1 plus sine x. So looking at the integral, we cannot evaluate this using any of the formula listed above. There's also no good u substitution that we can apply here. So what I will do is, I will try to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate of 1 plus sine x, that's 1 minus sine x. So let's multiply both numerator and denominator by 1 minus sine x. So we will have the integral so the numerator here is the invisible 1, multiplying 1 times 1 minus sine x, it will be 1 minus sine x over the product of 
the denominators 1 plus sine x times 1 minus sine x then the dx so we will have the integral of 1 minus sine x over so to multiply 1 plus sine x 1 minus sine x so it will take the form difference of two squares so square the first so one square minus the square of the second sine square x dx so we will have one minus sine x over one square that's one then minus sine squared x so on the denominator i can apply pythagorean identity so we know that one minus sine squared x it's the same as cosine squared x dx and i can distribute this cosine squared x to every term in the numerator so i will have one over cos squared x minus sine x over cos squared x quantity times dx then if we apply identities so this one over cosine squared x it's the same as second squared x minus for this sine x over cosine squared x, I can write that as sine x over cos x times 1 over cos x. Because we have a power of the denominator, I just split it into 2 cosine x. So cosine x times cosine x, it's cosine squared x. But sine x over cos x, the identity for that is tangent x. And 1 over cos x, the identity is is again second x then dx so second squared x we already have a formula for that the integral of second squared u d is tan u and the integral of tan x second x we already have a formula for that which is this integral of second u tan u d is second u plus e so we just distribute the integral symbol together with the dx so we can integrate term by term we will have the integral of second squared x dx minus the integral of tan x second x dx so evaluating the integrals integrals of second squared x dx that will be tan x minus integral of tan x second x that will be second x plus c so therefore this is the final answer okay now it's your turn so try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers